In this video series, we're going to talk all about batch tracking. So for those of you who are familiar with it, most likely you would be if you're operating in industries like food, where you have to track perishable goods with expiration dates, chemicals, pharma, anything that is controlled or is used for some sort of human consumption uh, or is used in order in, in elements where they come in contact with, with humans. Um, batch tracking is quite essential for those industries. And there's probably a variety of other industries where it applies. Majority of the problems that customers look to solve with batch tracking is that um, generally speaking, if even if you're doing batch tracking, which is required by law in a lot of countries for those types of products, you need to have a system in place. And some of those systems can be as simple as a spreadsheet or just putting the labels on something and having a having have the whereabouts to reference it. Um, but they're not always very well established and they take a lot of man hours and time. So if you need something that allows you to save time as well as money and be more productive, then Katana's batch tracking functionality really enables this and unlocks it for you as you um, are activating the feature inside of the platform. So over the series, um, first we're gonna start off with the general setup. Like how do you activate products and materials to be batch trackable? How does it look like whenever you're importing those and making them batch trackable? How do you assign batch numbers to existing stock materials and products? And then as we get further down the way, we're gonna do the workflows and I'll show you how the workflows look. So purchasing a raw material, assigning a batch number, manufacturing a product, assigning a batch number and choosing from which batches to use as the material ingredients. And then we'll get into the sales portion where we can allocate um, a batch number to the sales orders from which we're drawing down our, from our inventory. And then of course, after we get like through the whole workflow, it's important to understand how do all of those come together with respect to looking things up and understanding where what came from where. And uh, if you ever have a recall situation, you don't wanna spend a ton of time digging through old papers or receipts or wherever you might be tracking this information from, but you wanna have it accurately available in a pretty easy system to find that data uh, where necessary. So um, hope you enjoy and hope you find that this video series is helpful for getting established with batch tracking. And uh, let's go ahead and get started.